Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle, and today is Tuesday, December 13th, I believe, um, 2011, and I hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a very good weekend, too, as well. A little drunk weekend, a little filled with drama, but overall, very nice. Um, getting into the huge story today, which basically is coming out all over the news, which I've been seeing on Puck Daddy's site, um, College Hockey News, and I believe the New York Times even put this in, like, one of their blogs, and that is the, um, incident at Boston University which I will get to in just a second. But if you didn't notice something today, I am looking a little fresh, a little clean cut, a little clean shave, a little quote a little Jason Aldean. Um, I'm actually running for a job interview today. So, wish me luck. Hope I do well. And we'll see, definitely see. And um, for those of you who read my blogs, I'm very sorry I haven't updated them in a while. I've just been super busy preparing for school, getting school done, job working, <laughs> and it's just, it's been a huge mess. I haven't had time to work in the blogs. My laptop crashed on me, so I don't actually have a laptop anymore. I have to borrow one um, just to keep up with the blogs. So, and I'm working on two blogs and YouTube, and you know, it's it's a lot of work, you know. But eventually, I promise. Once I get a new camera too, as well, I'm actually recording this on my cell phone, which doesn't have that. Which I'm, that's an okay camera, but all right. Let's jump into the story that is breaking out today. Huge news and a very sad news, and you're very. Very glad that this, this could have been much worse, and you're lucky that it wasn't. But, um, fortunately, many of you guys probably know who Corey Trevino is from Boston University. Senior forward, phenomenal hockey player, 2008 New York Islanders second round pick. You know, he's a great hockey player. I mean, he's leading the Hockey East in goals with 13 goals in 15 games. Um, unfortunately, as of today, or as of yesterday, he is no longer a Boston Terrier. And I will tell you why. Sunday night, Corey was apparently intoxicated, and this is from what I read, this is not, you know, factual information, I mean, this is basically from what all the rest of what I read from the Puck Daddy blog, from College Hockey News, um, just from several sites, this is what I have been reading from, and if you know Corey, if you know this young lady, or if you know anything that happened tonight, feel free to comment me or let me know what happened, or if you even know, if you're even to go to Boston University and want to share your opinion, please, please, please leave a comment or else. And I really want to get some people's opinions. So, <clears throat> definitely let me know if you guys' thoughts on this. Um, from what I read, though, Corey was intoxicated and had forced his way into an, what appeared to be an apartment or uh, not really a dorm, but either a house and forced his room into a way with this, um, this young lady and started kissing her and groping her. And she had repeatedly told him to get off. And after he left, she ended up calling Boston University police and shortly after, Corey was arrested. And yesterday he was kicked off the team. And, you know, when I hear stuff like this, you know, about alleged rape and all this crazy shit, you're just like, you know, you're thankful that it could have, you're thankful it wasn't as much worse. Um, you know, it's a very scary moment for this young woman. And my thoughts and prayers definitely go out to her. Um, you know, glad she's still safe, glad she's still okay. But, um, you know, it's a scary thing. And especially with Corey being intoxicated, you know, it could have been much worse. You don't. You never know. But um, it, it's a sad way to, for Corey to end his college hockey career. You know he's going to be a hell of a hockey player. Um, he is a hell of a hockey player. It, it's just a shame that he's got to live with this. You know, now from now on. And this isn't his first incident. He had one, I believe, last year or two years ago, where I believe on St. Patty's Day he violated team rules regarding alcohol-related issues and. It's, it's a sad thing, you know, because he is, as I said, as I keep saying over and over and over, he's a phenomenal hockey player, and by all means, he'll be one of my favorite Terriers of all time. And, um, and if you guys haven't also checked out, he was also got, I think, suspended, blah, suspended for two games, either last year or two years ago, um, for his little, for his little role in this, <laughs> and this, this I have to joke about, because this, this doesn't involve rape, this thing. This is something that he did, him, and I believe uh, former teammate Vinny, um, oh my gosh, what is his last name? I totally forgot. Vinny, I'll, I'll post it below, I can't think it off the top of my head. They had made this uh, rap song together called uh, Party Like a Puck Star, and I'll post the link below. It's a great song. I mean, I like the song. I might actually put it as my ringtone. Uh, being a former hockey player myself, you know, I like the song. I, I truly did. So, oh my hell, I might just put it as my ringtone. Um, but apparently, Boston University wasn't too fond of that, and they suspended him for two games. And I believe Vinny, Vinny, I can't think of their last name. I am so sorry. I'll 
put it all in my, it'll be in my blog. Um, but I can't think of their names off the top of my head, so. I will put all that information in the blog. If you guys want to read my blog, check it out. kphockeyblog.tumblr.com And, um, if you go to Boston University or if you're a Boston University fan, or even just a college hockey fan, please leave me a comment below or share your thoughts with me, please. I really, I'm actually writing an article about this story. And if you want to help me out, please, please send me a message or a comment or whatever. Um, you're going to help me out big time. So thank you very much, guys. Anyways, my name is Kyle Parker. I will see you guys soon. Take care.